To my immediate right is Susha Kozlova, and uh, to my second right is Peyton McDaniel. Um, really, really proud of our group. It was um, it was a grind today. We expected that. I, I got a lot of respect for Gary Broadhead. Um, I think he does a wonderful job on the defensive end and really, really makes it hard to play um, on that end. So uh, he deserves a lot of credit. But uh, I thought our rebound margin was was our our muscle and the, the, kind of the reason we were able to uh, contr control the game, I guess you could say. And uh, I thought just, we just had some great performances all around. I think our, our team is um, is really fully bought into to, to putting everything on the line to win a championship. And uh, you know, I don't know what her line is, but Chloe Sterling was was really good all day today, um, and doesn't look like she scored one basket, one basket um, from free throws. And so. Garden Brandy Williams uh, was a tough task. I thought we had great performances from Susha, obviously, from Peyton, from Ashanti Barnes. Heaven Bristow had a, had a really important third quarter for us. And then, uh, I mean, I can go down the line. Carol Miller ice in the game with a free throw. So really, really proud of our, our toughness, and our resiliency. And um, it's, it's nice to uh, get, a, get a tough win and uh, move on. OK, Coach, uh, we'll start with a question here from Zoom. Um, you held Louisiana to only three triples on the day. What's your evaluation of the team's perimeter defense against the Raging Cajuns? Um, you know, what's funny is, is like good, not great. I really didn't think it was great. I, I thought we had some breakdowns, but um, yeah, I don't know. My, my sense of them is they don't they don't want to pull 25 threes. A lot of people in this day and age want, don't mind pulling threes. Um, I almost think it's a it's a better number that they shot 19. I think that's a testament to our to our protect the paint style uh, type of defense here, um, but yeah, I thought we I thought we did a really good job. The the one the one that's the the real three point shooter to us was was Brandy Williams, and we held her to one three on on six attempts. And so um, the other ones to me it was um, you know Tamara Johnson had attempted one three her last five games, and she shot four today. So like I'm good with that, um, and that was that was part of scout report and part of what we chose today. And then, Coach, another one here from Zoom. Uh, your team had a 17-0 edge in second chance points, and we're uh, plus 28 in the rebounds. What do you credit for the success on the glass? Uh, them. They, they, they worked for that. And we, we've talked about it all year long. It's something that's been a staple for us um, day in and day out. And um, it's really uh, – it's like realizing how powerful you can be. And we, we were that today. Um, it's three games in a row with 50 rebounds. And – that's that's something I'm very very proud of because we we preach and we talk about it and and you know it's it's an effort based thing it's technique a little bit but but a lot of effort so I'm I'm really proud of them but they they deserve that they earned that I didn't I didn't get one rebound today it's all them. Go ahead, Shane. Yeah, it was a big difference. Yesterday, I think I was like out of my rhythm. But uh, I practiced yesterday, and I had individual, and so today was much better. And Sean, I guess to follow up on that, just you know, how much <coughs> does that help you guys? To, but you, you mentioned yesterday that getting her out there to get a few minutes and get get her legs under her and everything was probably going to pay off. Did you feel like that was the case today? No, one hundred percent. In in a in a in a grind type game like this, right? I, I for her sake, I wouldn't want this to be the first game back so we're able to bring her back get her feet wet get some maybe maybe jitters right you're, you're out for three weeks maybe there's jitters maybe there's rust whatever I thought we washed that away we we did we had a day of practice we had a, an individual a 15 minute individual where she was breathing heavy a little bit but um you, you know like now it's like yeah that's that's it that's second team all conference you know in my mind it should be first team all conference you know center who who I couldn't believe when they were going, they were letting her go one on one. I thought for sure the double was coming, but um, it was just really crucial for us in, in a game where it's, it was so hard to score a basket. It, it was it was crucial for us in in, in us making a run. Go ahead, Paul. Yeah, uh, I, I wish I had, I, I, got my, I might come up with a nickname for P here. Like trigger P or something like that because, 
Uh, she she starts it, and it's it's awesome. It is it is. It, I think it sets the tone for our whole team and the mentality of like, oh, we're coming for this thing. And you know, it was it was great. She hit one, Carol hit one, and then Ashanti hit one. Um, and I thought that was great, but I was like, look, we're not going to shoot sixty threes. We got to make sure we can get to the rim too. Gary was probably laughing, like, all right, keep shooting those threes. Um, but no, nah, it, it was. We've done that now two games in a row. It's a it's a great way to start the game instead of. Um, Adversity kind of hitting you right in the face. So I think it's always great to get off to a good start and, and peace at the stone for that. Coach, is the, the, y'all, the last time y'all played the Cajuns was early January at your mm-hmm. place, and it was tough. They could have won, Oof, no one yeah. in overtime. Like, what's, what is it that they do that they don't seem to match up with y'all because they're not real big and y'all are huge? Well, what is it that gives y'all some difficulty? Well, it, it's just the contrast of styles, right? So, so. Right today, we, we out rebound them by almost thirty, which is our strength. But we have we have twenty one turnovers. They have five, right? They have eleven steals, right? They're they're um, a little bit more guard, smaller oriented. But that's that's not easy for us too, right? Um, I'm subbing Sushi in now, offense defense because they got Tamara Johnson at the five. Not a great matchup for her on the perimeter. Let's use our our four to guard her. It's it's matchup problems both ways, right? And so um, it's just a. What's what style is going to win, right? And we happen to win today at our place. It was, I mean, I remember it was an absolute grind, 61-61 going to overtime. We ended up hitting some shots in overtime, but I just I got a ton of respect for what he does. I, the the style he plays, um, how tough. It, like you can ask these guys how tough it is to score against them. I mean, they are they're in the paint. If you if you run into them, I mean, they're far. They, I mean, what they get four or five charges today, maybe more, and it's it's a really tough style to play against. So I, I give them, I, I got a ton of respect for them. This was not something I was like, oh yeah, Troy's out, we're gonna win. It was like, uh oh, this is gonna be a tough one here. Um, part of my non-reaction, I just. I was so, um, I mean, so focused on this thing. Um, you know, we'll get back, we'll watch some film, and th- this will be, uh, I mean, they, they, Marshall has been awesome all year long, right, it, with their only blemish in conference being us. And, you know, I think, again, I got a ton of respect for Kim and, and what she does, and, and that thing is, uh, you know, it'll be, I wish we had a day in between these games, but, um, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll be ready to go. and. Everything's on the line. It's for a championship, which is which is. I'm excited we're we're there, um, but we're not just excited to be there, right? It's 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 something that we got to go take here. It's 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 something we're very focused on. Got a question here for Peyton. Um, Peyton, how has your confidence been so unwavering in Pensacola the past two years? Um, I think it just comes from my teammates uh, having trust with uh, trust in me. I think the past couple uh, the past couple of weeks, um, my confidence has just been going up kind of as I uh, said yesterday. So I think just the trust that my coaches and my teammates have in me. For the players, both of you, how you, get, how you feel when you're playing in the championship game when one went away, uh, I would say I'm um, very excited, but we're not done yet. So we got to stay focused. And we know it's going to be a tough game. Um, Obviously, we went one on one with Marshall in regular season, so we know it's not going to be easy. It's they're in the championship for a reason, but so are we. Yeah, like uh, just what Peyton said, we're not here just to play games. We're here to win, so we're super excited. Sean, one person you didn't mention was uh, Olivia Mullins. Mm, she, she my bad. Played, she hasn't played a lot of minutes, and then she starts the fourth quarter with that three that kind of turned the momentum back your way. You know, what's to say about her that? She can do that in that situation where it wasn't her game to play. Yeah, it, it, it was. It was. Um, it's just so hard to, for me to balance this, and you've been hearing me whine about it all year long, right? It's like, um, how do how do you get them all in and stuff like that? And this game, especially, right, because the tempo is not super crazy, right? So, uh, Chloe played, I think, the whole third, and I, I didn't. She didn't really even need a sub at the time. But it was like, no, I, I want I want to get Liv in because I think we're going to need Liv. And it just – I was watching Chloe defend, right, and it didn't even occur to me. And all of a sudden it's like – so um, I get her in there, man. And I think it's a testament to our team and the culture – and her, of course, right? But but the team and the culture that she's not um, pouting. She's not um, in some type of way about it. It's it's fully team first. We're winning the championship. And so she, w- she stayed ready, sat on the bench. Um, 
and came in and I, I do think I mean that was a huge it was a huge shot after after everything we were trying to run wasn't working right um, and and she's ended up to step up and knock that down and the same thing with Carol Carol sat I think the whole fourth quarter and came in when when P fouled out and got stops and made free throws like that that's that's what this team has done and they've really bought into that um, team just team first mentality and I think when you have that. You can win a championship, right? And if it's not, if Liv was in in a in a mood or um, was or took that negatively, right? She doesn't hit that shot, and do we lose the game, right? So uh, it's a testament to her, but but everybody, including you know, kind of the the our team and the leaders too, that that they're preaching that they act that, and you use Jamia, use Steph, use Anna, right? Um, because you know, P P certainly plays almost as much as she can, but um, Steph showing coming out of the starting lineup and, and being a professional and rooting for her teammates and still doing her job and still being a leader, right? Jamia of recent, right? I thought Jamia had just an okay game in, in the first game. Comes out today, I thought she was I thought she was a big reason we got going early. And it just, it's just, it's the culture right now. And it's it's really impressive that they bought into that idea. And that's that's why I think we're here, um, it, amongst other things. But that's, that's one of the big things why, why we're here.